discussions this morning over the size and the scope of the FBI investigation into Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Christine Blasey Ford's lawyers say the agency still has not reached out. ABC News reporter Emily Rao is live in Washington and joins us now with the latest. Emily. Good morning, Jessica and Reggie. Well, President Trump now supports this FBI investigation, which he ordered with the conditions that it would be limited in scope and finished by this Friday. The FBI investigation into accusations against Brett Kavanaugh is officially underway, while lawyers for Christine Blasey Ford say so far agents have not spoken to her. The FBI has talked with Kavanaugh's second accuser, Deborah Ramirez, a Yale classmate who claims Kavanaugh exposed himself at a dorm party. A source tells ABC News Ramirez provided investigators with a list of witnesses. On 60 Minutes, Democrat Chris Coons and Republican Jeff Flake, who forced the investigation, agreeing. If Judge Kavanaugh is shown to have lied to the committee, nomination's over? Oh, yes. I would think so. Investigators do not plan to interview Kavanaugh's classmates, who contradict his testimony about his drinking. Now, isn't that relevant given that there clearly was drinking going on, at least it's alleged uh, at the party? No, I think uh, you're trying to portray him as a stumbling, bumbling drunk, gang rapist. Overnight, a former college friend writing this letter in the New York Times saying, quote, in denying the possibility that he ever blacked out from drinking and in downplaying the degree and frequency of his drinking, Brett has not told the truth. Also not being questioned, Julie Swetnick, who claims in a sworn statement she witnessed a drunk Kavanaugh mistreat women at parties in high school. Kavanaugh strongly denies all allegations. Senator Dianne Feinstein has now asked the FBI for the exact directions that President Trump provided and the White House over the weekend saying that the president is not micromanaging this investigation.